First and foremost, how are you doing? Um, I'm doing okay, but honestly, I can't say I'm doing great, which is why I reached out to you. Tell us about your relationship with DeAndre. We actually met in uh, Central California. I was working there on a contract assignment. I'm a nurse. It was only gonna be temporary, and we met on a dating app, and DeAndre and I hit it off, like, right away. A couple months into our relationship, DeAndre was like, why don't you just move in with me? It was just like the right thing to do at the time, and it was great being with each other every single day, going to sleep together every single night. You were now long distance, right? Yes. My assignment was going to be over, and LA has always been my home. So we talked about me coming back here and him moving to Los Angeles so that we can live together. And how has that distance affected the relationship so far? It's been really difficult. He's a student, and he works at a hotel overnight. You know, we went from being with each other every single day to video chats and, mm -hmm. like, not seeing each other for, like, two weeks at a time. I hate it, to be honest. I can't wait to start this new life together. But DeAndre has never introduced me to his friends or his family. And I want to know why, what's going on. And have you asked DeAndre? Yeah. Well, what does he say? He comes up with so many different excuses. DeAndre's originally from Atlanta. He'll say, my family, you're so far away, which I understand. But now we have so much technology, so many different ways to connect with people. He never gives me a straightforward answer. It's always some workaround. How do you know that, you know, it's not just the honeymoon phase of the relationship? Like, how do you know for sure that this is something that's permanent? We talked about a lot of things, like a deeper parts of ourselves, and we've been very vulnerable with each other, and I've shared things about myself with him. So I have a autoimmune disorder called okay. alopecia. Okay. So this is a wig, mm -hmm. and I'm actually bald. Okay. <laughs> you rock it. That's a thank you. Look you. Beautiful. <laughs> Looks really good. You look great. <laughs> thank you. So I actually started losing my hair when I was about 11 or 12, and you know those are really Kids. like formative years. Yeah. 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 And there was like a moment in my life that was very defining. I'm getting a little emotional, but when I was in high school, I was on the soccer team and during a game, my wig fell off. Like in the middle of the game, like everyone is just like looking at me and I like quickly pick it up, put it back on. And after that moment, I really didn't want to be here anymore. Like I really just, went into like this deep shell of hiding because it was like, everyone is kind of seeing this part of me that I hate. It was really hard for me to see past being this burden. I was ashamed. The fact that you felt like you couldn't exist on this planet anymore based on other people's perception, their ignorance is heartbreaking, and I want to give 15-year-old you a hug. I mean, obviously, it's not the same. I'm gay, right? Coming out was a big deal for me, and I thought people would literally abandon me, people that I knew loved me. I'm so happy that 15-year-old Vivi can see you now, meeting two strangers, essentially. Making them cry. <laughs> it's being so self-aware and so self-confident. I want to commend you. Thank you. So with DeAndre, it's been like night and day with my past relationships. I'm always like this with him. It's so natural. And he constantly reminds me how beautiful I am. And like when I'm with DeAndre, it just feels like a safe place. Yes. That's why this distance has been so hard because I feel like part of me is missing. It's, it's really hard to find what you and DeAndre have. But we still need to find out why DeAndre is hiding you. One of the first thoughts that comes into my mind is, why doesn't he post me on social media? Like, I'm a ghost in your life. It's like I don't exist. There's not a single trace of me on social media. A ghost, huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page. We're on the same page. Chapter 8, page 269. And DeAndre will post pictures on socials where I feel like he is maybe trying to get attention from other girls. 
I'm talking about like, like shirtless yeah, photos. I was just about to say like, that. Yeah, like a fresh cut or something. Like, I mean, I don't think his guy friends care too much about his haircut. Yeah, I've been known, I mean, honestly, I've been known yeah, I mean... to post to post a fresh cut every now and then. You looking good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And also, you know, he has his ex on there. So you know for sure that he still follows his ex and she still follows him? Yes. Have you brought that up to him? I have. He says it's just like a amicable friendship, like they don't really talk, but maybe he wants her to think he's still available. When you do see DeAndre, are you going up there or is he mainly coming out here? He's mainly coming up here. Sometimes I ask, like, maybe I can go visit you for a change. And he'll say, like, oh, you know, my roommate. Um, it's just so much better if I come see you. So you haven't been there since the last time you guys temporarily lived together? No. And then he has told me he's accepting on my alopecia. But maybe he's worried that like, his friends and family won't be as accepting. Got it. I've been hurt, and I've been through so much, like I want to know that I'm putting my heart in a safe place and that we're going to have this amazing future together that we talk about. OK. Do you have anyone that you think Ronnie and I should talk to? Well, my best friend, Jennifer, she knows DeAndre. My friend, Nico, who's also met him, so he might be able to give some feedback. What does DeAndre think all of this is for? He thinks it's a show on MTV about long distance relationships. All right, well, well, Vivi, thank you for trusting us. Yes. As soon as we know something, you'll know something. So nice to meet so you. Good to meet you. Thank you. All right, Vivi. We've never had two hopeless hookups. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.